We've decorated the studio, as I said. You've decked the halls at home. Looming is perhaps a more challenging task because if you're in charge of a group party of any kind this month, so think church, work party, extended family party, then you're likely looking for an inexpensive way to decorate a big open space. Well, we've done some window shopping and feel very inspired by the big impact install at the Salt and Honey Market in Salt Lake City. Those big dangling bulbs are actually balloons and the display designer is in our studio. Mary Leishman is teaching us how to turn foil balloons into giant Christmas ornaments. These are adorable. You're adorable. Oh, thank you, Brooke. It's I'm happy true. to be here. Happy it's to be in true. Christmas attire. These are big. These are big and they're inexpensive and they're fun. On. Yes. And I feel like they make a big impact, which is really important when we're doing something like a church Christmas party, a school Christmas party. We've already decorated our houses. We don't need more decorations at home. <laughs> what supplies do we need to pull this off? Oh, okay. So all we're going to need for this here. I'll you be your banner. Yes, ma'am. All we're going to need for this is what's called an orb balloon. It's mm -hmm. called an orb or a bubble balloon, depending on where you get them. You can get them at Zercher's. They're going to look like this when you first blow them up. Okay. So that's a little confusing because you don't think it's going to turn out to be a circle. It doesn't look like the right shape to begin it, with. It doesn't, but trust me it is. Trust, trust me you. it is. And then all you're gonna need is some scrapbook paper. I was gonna say my Christmas ornament lives are in your hands, but they're actually in my hands. They're in your hands. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so for this one we use gold yes. um, glitter scrapbook paper from Michaels. Yes. And here, let me let me show you exactly how we did this. If you wanna set that one off to the side. You bet, you bet. So we have a new orb right here. Mm -hmm. And what we did, took this scrapbook paper, just this 12 by 12, mm -hmm. glued it on both ends like this mm -hmm. to make this, and then we're gonna glue just a little strip to make it look like an ornament, just right? Just covering the seam, right? Yeah, just covering the seam. This is really filled up. I know, so you don't want there, that one deflated a little bit, oh. but we don't want there to be any creases because we want it to look like a real ornament, right? I feel like I might have to give the balloon guy at the grocery store a pep talk to put a little extra yeah, extra in it. This might. is firm. It is firm. Yeah. Yeah, and you want it that way, especially if you're going to be carrying it from indoor to outdoor. Uh -huh. The heat and the temperature affects your balloons, so okay. you, you don't want it to deflate okay. outdoors. No so sad gonna, balloons. No sad balloons. Yeah. You're going to fill it up all the way. Okay, and all we're going to do with this, people are, their minds are blown when I tell them we can hot glue things on balloons. I still, you've told me that a couple I of have. times here on the show and my mind is blown every time. It's not going to pop. It's not going to pop. Okay. Make sure you use a glue gun that has a dual setting. So we have um, a glue gun right here that's on low heat. Okay. That's really important. And then all we're gonna do, we're, we're gonna, gonna put it around the- You're gonna crown the balloon? We're gonna crown the balloon! I love that, Brooke. And we're just gonna place it like that and maybe put some glue to secure it any places where it's not. Right, this is a circle, so there are gonna be a couple of spots that. So you're just sealing the edges. Yep, we're just gonna seal the edges. So it's really, really easy, and then the way I like to hang them up is by taking this little guy right here, if you mm -hmm. can see it, mm -hmm. and putting, um, yeah, right there, the tail, and putting some um, fishing line around the tail. So don't hang it from the actual ornament. Use nope. your cheat tucked inside that crown. Yep. Use your little cheat right here and yes. that will make sure it's hanging straight. Yes. If you put the fishing line on here, on the paper, it might kind of crinkle a little uh -huh. bit and it also might not hang straight. How can we make sure an install like this or really any of our balloon creations last? Temperature. temperature. Just like I was saying earlier, it's really important to keep your balloons in a a stable temperature, don't change it. Mm -hmm. Just no matter, whatever the environment you blow them up in, mm -hmm. try and keep them around that temperature, right? If you take this outside right now, it's gonna deflate, yeah. probably about halfway because it's so cold right now. Okay. So you wanna keep it somewhere warm, or if you're outside, keep it somewhere cold. We're like a mama bear protecting our cubs. Yes. Sitting on our nest, balloon. waiting for our eggs to hatch. Keep them warm. And these little guys are a cute touch too, a cute accent. Yes, okay, these are so fun. This was an easy one to do. So all we did with these, we blew up a little balloon, uh -huh. right? Uh huh. And instead of letting it be balloon shaped like this, we don't like our balloons to be balloon shaped if we want them to be ornaments. <laughs> so what we do is I press them against something, right? Okay, yeah. Really let the air out so that they're circular, yes. like so. This will also make sure that they don't pop, right? Mm -hmm. This isn't going anywhere, Brooke. Mm -hmm. I know you're afraid of balloons popping. I, it's a phobia. It is a phobia. We're still friends, but it's, yeah, I, this but is not But if you let thing. enough air out, there's no way this is gonna pop. 
All we did with these was take some fishing line, uh -huh. tie it around the tail, uh -huh. and then tie it around the little branches on Look there. Look how cute. So any oh, tree that you see. have can become a Christmas tree with these yes. balloon ornaments. And Darling. I did a full balloon Christmas tree last year with just balloon ornaments. It lasted six weeks. Really? Yeah. Again, temperature controlled. Temperature controlled. All right. Also, Mary, yeah. thank you so much. Hey, before we say goodbye, you are embarking on a fun new adventure. What does I that can. mean for Mayberry Balloon Company? I am taking my balloon company. I am moving to Hawaii. I mean, we won't be jealous. Yeah, yeah, I hope you're not, but I hope you come and visit me. I would love that. Can we still follow along your creations yes, online? Yes, of course you can. You can follow me at Mayberry Balloon Co. M-A-Y-B-E-R-R-Y -R -R Balloon Co. Okay. And hopefully I'll be back when you I come and visit. You better be, you yeah, better be. Okay. Put us on your, on your visit list. Yep. And we are cheering you on. That's really exciting. Thank you. Merry Thanks Christmas. For... Happy holidays. Thanks for the ornament inspiration. All right, I'm just gonna keep holding this like Kay. my egg because we talked about just protecting it, loving protecting, it. It's with it me warm. for the rest of the day.